Hello and welcome to another Stamp with Amy K YouTube Live. And today I am hopping on just really quickly, it shouldn't take me very long, to show you some new goodies that I got from the Stampin' Up! Online Exclusives pre-order. Um, that's available actually um, for demonstrators to order now. And it'll be available for customers to order beginning on the 7th of November. Um, one other bonus is, and I'll talk about it in a little bit, Stampin' Up! has a great joining promotion going on. And these items that I'm going to show you today, you can actually add as part of your starter kit if you would like to, um, if you join as a demonstrator during the month of October. So anytime between now and the end of October, if you join, you can add these pretty new items to your starter kit, or you can add other items and then pre-order these uh, once you join. So, hey, Kim, thanks for hopping on today. I appreciate you being here. So, all right. And this was sort of a last minute thing. I just decided to hop on and do this. So I don't know how many people I'll even have show up, but anybody that's here, awesome. So, all right, so this is the Garden Meadow stamp set. It's actually part of a whole suite. And I'll show you everything here in just a second. But this is a, um, hey, Mary Ruth, thanks for joining. And Judy is here as well. So I'm just showing off the new online exclusives that I was able to pre-order as a demonstrator. Um, Gosh, when we, it started on Tuesday, I guess, for the pre-order. So again, um, if you are a demonstrator, you can grab these items now, or if you're not, you can join and add them as part of your starter kit. So um, hi, Kimberly, glad you're here as well. So, all right, Garden Meadow stamp set. This is a photopolymer stamp set, and it's got some really cute um, sentiments in it, good sentiments, and I love the images. Kind of perfect for spring and summer, or anyone who likes gardening. And uh, yeah, so lots of good things. The, uh, the little critters are cute. I'll show you those in a second. So, hey, Connie, um, glad that you uh, hopped on. So, yeah, this was a totally unplanned. <laughs> I actually don't have a card making video today because, um, yeah, we're going to be doing our World Card Making Day presentations tomorrow. So, um, I'll be live over in our Facebook group over there. So, um, all right, so back to this Garden Meadow. Uh, so this is the stamp set. Again, it's got some really cool images in it. It'll be a good one for coloring if you like to do that. Great one to use with blends. And then it's got coordinating dies, and these are called the Garden Meadow dies, appropriately. Um, and then there are dies. This larger die that's actually, this is two dies here. I don't know how well you can tell that on the video. Um, but this is actually an outline die that will cut out this little fence image. And then there's a detailed die for the fence that you can die cut if you would like to do that instead. Um, this really cool arch here is sort of like a big giant window. Um, so it, it cuts and embosses, I believe. I haven't actually tried it. It feels like it's going to, it feels like it's going to cut and emboss. <laughs> so I shouldn't say that for sure until I actually try it. I've seen some card samples that Stampin' Up! shared with us that it looks like it cuts and embosses at the same time. So it'll cut the center, I think, and then it'll cut an exterior as well. But I do need to try it out and I'm sure I'll be playing with it again soon. So, hey, Amanda and Debbie and uh, Sherry. And good, I'm glad you're uh, looking forward to tomorrow. We are too, so it should be fun. Um, there also is a die here to cut out the wheelbarrow, uh, one to cut out the little basket of flowers. Uh, these are for the rain boots, the watering can, the little shovel. Um, this one cuts out the little set of flowers over here. This one cuts out the taller set of flowers. Uh, this one will cut out the little rake or whatever that thing's called. And then this one cuts out the birds. So there are also some little accessory dies here. So this one, again, looks like it um, kind of cuts and embosses at the same time. I haven't played with it yet, so I'm assuming that's what it does. Um, but it looks like it'll cut out kind of, it could use it as shrubs or grass or whatever you wanted to do with that one. And then this one looks like it'll cut um, some grass. And then there's one here that'll just cut kind of a hill look. So, um, so yeah, it's a great set of dies. Again, Garden Meadow Stamp Set Bundle. And these are going to be available for customers to order starting November 7th in the online exclusive. So they're only in the online store. That's the only place you'll find them. Or demonstrators can pre-order them now. So as also as part of that suite, there are some pretty embellishments. These are called the Adhesive Backed Dragonflies and Birds. And if you love those little adhesive backed, um, they're butterflies. I can't remember the official name of them, but they're a very similar look to these. Um, you're gonna love these as well. So there are butterflies that are currently in the catalog, but I love that these are dragonflies and little birds. And uh, of course, adhesive backed, so yay for that. Um, there is some ribbon also in this suite, and this is the pecan pie, pecan pie, depending on how you say it, um, center striped ribbon. It's three eighths of an inch, 
and it's yeah it's very pretty and soft ribbon i think it's going to tie some nice bows so yep looks like it's going to work really well for that uh but yeah pretty little ribbon again pecan pie is color and looks like probably i don't know vanilla or natural or whatever you want to call it um I have no idea what the weave is on it because I don't know much about it, but I'll hold it up a little closer to the camera. So hopefully um, you can see that. So, oop, maybe that's not a great view of it. I'm trying to see what it looks like on screen and hoping that it'll catch the color. That's probably a little better view. So, all right. Then we have probably, well, I don't know. You know, I love dyes and stamps, but this suite actually has beautiful paper with it so hey sally thanks for joining and terry if i didn't say hello um thanks for hopping in so this is six by six and it is called meandering meadows and um six by six designer series paper there are 48 sheets in the pack and so yeah there are 12 different designs so you and they're they're beautiful i mean if you like watercoloring kind of look at all um i don't know i'm sure there's some art maybe it's impressionism i can't remember i'm sure there's something art related that um, you definitely could could call this but it's beautiful whatever it is so the colors in the paper are balmy blue basic black blueberry bushel cherry cobbler crushed curry fresh freesia garden green granny apple green highland heather lemon lime twist melon mambo night of navy orchid oasis pecan pie uh, petal pink, pumpkin pie, and shaded spruce. So it's not like every single color that Stampin' Up! has, but it's a lot of them. <laughs> so, all right. So this is the first piece of paper. The backside of it is just a more kind of a, I don't know, shades of green and a little more neutrally looking. So it definitely, Debbie, it's, these are going to be perfect to cut with that um, window die. So this is the next one. Um, sort of looks like a, I don't know, a, a country path maybe. The back side of it is got shades of blue, a little bit of green in there as well. This one is really pretty too. I mean, I just, like I said, I can't wait to start playing with this paper. I was so excited when it <laughs> showed up to, to show it to y'all. So beautiful, kind of a meadow scene on this one. And then the back side is shades of green. And then we have this one, again, a pretty little meadow scene. Lots of pretty flowers on that one. This is the pecan pie. It kind of almost looks wood green-ish, but I'm not gonna say it's definitely wood green. It's, it's got some, a wood green look to it. So it's really pretty. Um, then we got some beautiful flowers. Again, a little meadow look. The backside has got um, kind of oranges and browns and a little bit of um, petal pink I see in there as well. And then we've got this pretty little piece of paper. And I'll flip it over and it's shades of blue on the back. And then there's this one. Ooh, that's really pretty. I love the blue flowers on that one. And then flip it over and just kind of shades of pinks and purples, a little bit of orange in there as well, maybe a little petal pink. And then this one. Ooh, the that's really pretty too and there's a little fence line in there i don't know how well that shows up on the video it looks like maybe kind of a lake and a mountains in the background well, that's pretty there's some beautiful flowers in this one and then we have this one that's a kind of again just looks like it's looking out onto a meadow well the back side's got clouds on it so that one's really pretty and then we've got some another meadow look with this one Flipping it over, oh, did it? that's different. Okay, as I say, I thought for a minute <laughs> that I had grabbed the same piece twice, but nope, they're different. Um, got clouds on that one. And then we have this one, very, very pretty. And then more of the flowers on the back. And then this is the final piece of paper. And um, again, just love the, love all the flowers. So, and then the backside has got kind of different shades of the, the oranges and a little bit of yellowy look in there as well. So that is the Meandering Meadows 6x6 um, six six designer series paper. And again, it'll be available November 7th for customers to order. And then we have the cute little fluffiest friends. This is I, this is like the cutest little set of critters I think Stampin' Up! has ever had. They're, they're just little chubby critters. This little bird nest in here. And then we've got the bird, a uh, bunny, a beaver, a uh, cat, bear. And I'm not sure, maybe you call that a cat? I'm not entirely sure what that one is. <laughs> and then um, little flowers with it. Little bees down here too. 
a cute little set of dies, fluffiest friends dies. And again, we've got one um, dies that will cut out all of the critters. Um, there are some accessory pieces here. So there are a couple of balloons. There's a little um, hive, a little tree, some leaves. Um, these you can cut out grass with. And there's this larger kind of arch look um, die cut as well so that um, you can cut and put your little critters inside the make them look like they're in a cave or a you know whatever window that type of thing so hey Mary Ellen thanks for joining and um, yeah it's it's such a cute set so uh, this is a cling mount the other one was photopolymer so the other one was see-through this one has got the um, red rubber on it so um, a cute little set and then the final thing that I have to show you is the a three color glimmer paper. This is 12 by 12 and it's Highland Heather, Petal Pink and uh, Pretty Peacock. And looks like it's that glimmer paper that doesn't shed, which I love that. <laughs> so, so some papers are not quite as nice and you end up with glitter everywhere. Um, so this one is the Pretty Peacock. Backside is just white on these. And then we've got the Petal Pink, which is pretty. And then we've got Highland Heather. So there we go. Um, so those I think will be good. Again, spring, Easter is what I'm definitely thinking of with the purple and the pink. And actually even the, the um, pretty peacock, I think you could do as Easter-ish colors. Uh, at least that's what they look like to me. So. so that's it. Like I said, I figured it'd be a quick little video, but I wanted to hop on and show you since it's such pretty stuff. Um, this pack of paper actually has six sheets total, so you get two of each of these in there. So, all right. Um, if you are not currently a demonstrator, right now is an excellent time to join so you can add all of these awesome new pre-order things to your starter kit if you would like. Um, so let me know if you have any questions about joining. Uh, we'd love to have you come join our team. Um, Stampin' Up! is a great joining special running through the end of October. And um, if you join as a demonstrator, you can pick from one of two kit options. So you can either get the kit which is normally $99 plus tax and it ships for free. You can get the kit for $64.35, which is 35% off the $99 price. And it still ships for free and you still get to pick $125 worth of Stampin' Up! merchandise in it. Or you can choose to have 35% additional merchandise added to your starter kit. Um, so you'd pay the $99 uh, kit price plus tax if that applies in your area and it ships for free. And then you get to pick $168.75 worth of merchandise for your starter kit. So it's a great deal. And then on top of that, Stampin' Up! Uh, actually will be giving you a free registration for the On Stage at Home event that will be happening in November, and that's another $77 value. And if you go take a look at the video I did on Tuesday, I'm trying to remember, it was the um, Fun Fold card, the fall card, fall birthday card. If you go look there at the beginning of that video, you can actually see a bundle from the upcoming mini catalog called um, Be Mine, I believe is the name of it. And it's a bundle, um, a whole suite, I should say, of products that I showed you in that video. So you can go take a peek at that. Um, so if you join during the month of October and you get the free entry into the event, Stampin' Up! is actually gonna let you pre-order that bundle if you would like to do that as well. So that is something that you can get once you join as a demonstrator um, and get registered for the event. Uh, you'll be able to purchase, or if you would like to, pre-order, I should say, um, that sweet collection as well. Let me know if you have any questions about anything. I appreciate y'all hopping on and joining with me kind of last minute and um, yeah. So if you're interested in joining as a demonstrator, lots of great perks. You get at least a 20% discount on everything you order. You get to come hang out with our group if you join with us. Um, and I think we're pretty fun. And then, um, yeah, so get to join for events and all that sort of fun thing. Get to pre-order ahead of time. So all sorts of good stuff. Um, and speaking of events, oh, it's a hamster or a guinea pig. You could definitely be right, Kim. I don't know. <laughs> Kimberly, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know what it is. I was going to say raccoon, but I knew that wasn't right. <laughs> so, all right. Um, so that is all that I have for you today. Um, if you have not come over and joined our team Facebook page, our event page for World Card Making Day, definitely go do that. You can find the details on my blog, which is stampwithamyk.com, or my Facebook page. Um, it's also out on my Instagram, so go take a peek out there, um, and you'll be able to find it. Let me know if you have questions about anything. Have a wonderful weekend. I will see you live, hopefully, uh, tomorrow over on our Team Facebook event page. Chat with you all soon.